Hi, welcome to the homework for Grade 3, Module 1, Lesson 2. Don't forget to write your name right here. We've got, use the arrays below, arrays below, to answer each set of questions. So we have a picture of uh, some erasers. How many rows of erasers are there? Rows go sideways. So there's one, two, three rows of erasers. And how many erasers are in each row? Each row has two erasers. And this is going to be all about how many rows there are, how many are in each row, and, uh, and relating it to multiplication. So now we're looking at rubber duckies. What's the number of rows? There's going across one, two, three. There's four rows there. And what are the number of objects in each row? There's one, two, three ducks in each row. Three rows. So there's four rows of three. And we'll get down to number three. There are three squares in each row. There's a row right there with three squares in it. How many squares? How many squares are in five rows? So there's that's all that's the whole array has five rows in it. One, two, three, four, five. That's the whole array. And you could count them all. There's 15. You could count them by threes if you wanted. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Or you could count them. Um, you could skip count them that way. Uh, easier to count by fives to count columns, but we're just counting rows. Write a multiplication expression to describe the array. So we've got five rows of three equals 15. Now if you wrote three times five equals 15, that would be true. But it wouldn't go with that picture. This would that would describe a different array. Then we would have we'd be talking about three rows of five. Uh, so we're really looking for five rows of three or five times three. Uh, now we'll go down here to number four. There are six rows of stars. How many stars are in each row? So there's a row right there, and there's four stars in that row, and they're all the same. So there's four in every row. Write a multiplication expression to describe the array. Expression is just a number sentence. It doesn't even uh, expressions don't even have to have equal signs, really. Um, so that's we're just going to write uh, a multiplication sentence, and that will be our expression to describe the array. So we've got six rows of stars. So that's six times four in each row. And you can count them all to find out there's 24 stars. And we'll go on to the next page. The three triangles below show three groups of four, right? Here's a group of four. That's a four. Here's a group that's four. And here's a group that's four. Redraw the triangles as an array that shows three rows of four. So we want three rows of four. I'm going to start with one row of four first. A lot of times it's easier way if you just draw the first row and then the rest of them are the same. But just think of one, one row of four, it might be easier than three rows of four. You just start with the first row. So three rows of four, I'm going to draw a row of four. And these are triangles. So one, two, three, four. And now I need three of these rows. So here's another one. And we want these to be kind of organized, if we can manage it. And there is my third row of four triangles. And then uh, for part B, compare the drawing to your array. So here's the drawing uh, here. And there's the array right there. That I just drew. How are they the same, and how are they? How are they the same, and how are they different? Uh, how are they the same? 
they both have. They both have, um, you, you can say they both have 12 triangles, right? Triangles. Uh, they both have Three groups of four. And how are they different? Uh, the array, the array has rows, let's say equal rows. Arrays don't just have rows like that. They also have columns that go up and down, too. And then we'll move on to number six. Roger has a collection of stamps. He arranges the stamps into five rows of four. So these are like stamps like you put on letters to mail them. Five rows of four. They're going to be, so these are going to be squares in our picture. Draw we're going to draw an array to represent Roger's stamps. So we're going to draw five rows of four squares and then write a multiplication equation to describe the array. So we need five rows of four. I'm going to start with just one row of four first. One, two, three, four. Okay, now we need five of these rows. So I'm going to keep going until I have. Three rows, this will be three rows of four. This will be four rows of four. And here's my fifth row of four. And they're not perfect squares, but that's okay. It's an array. Uh, so we drew the array. That's five rows of four. And write a multiplication equation to describe the array. So it's five rows. So it's five. It's the number of groups or rows, and there's four in each row, and we could count them all to see, or you could skip count by fours or by fives to figure it out, that there's 20 squares there, or stamps, so I'm going to write the, I'm going to say five times three is 20 stamps, Kimberly arranges, and then we're going to look at seven. Kimberly arranges her mar 18 markers as an array. Draw an array that Kimberly might make. Then write a multiplication equation to describe your array. So 18 markers in an array, we could draw, there's a lot of different ways you could draw an array with 18 markers in it. And... Uh, I'm going to draw, we've been practicing a lot of 6 times 3 here, so I'm just going to draw 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, a row of 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And that should be 3 rows of 6, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So you could have 2 rows of 9, you could have 1 row of 18. Uh, there's a lot of different ways that you could do this. So you could have uh, 6 rows of 3. It would all work. And the multiplication equation is going to be, I've got three rows, that's three times six in each row, 18 markers. And that's it.